Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk how to plot density of state and projected density of state after SCF calculation in Win2K. Here I have results of SCF calculation for anathase phase of titanium oxide. This is the structure of titanium oxide. So as I have titanium, titanium is a transition metal. It has S, P and D orbitals. I will show how to plot density of state for this system and how to plot the contribution of titanium and oxygen atom in that density of state and also how to plot the contribution of different orbitals of a atom. So, I shall start here with the DOS. Now, it asks to specify a larger Emax. So, I will go here and the, the default value is 1.5. I shall use 3.0. They also ask to prepare a denser K-mesh for better sampling because when you plot density of state or uh, you uh, plot optical properties, you may need actually a denser K-mesh. So, I did a safe calculation with 1000. So, you may now like to choose this 5000 or something like that. But since this is a simple uh, sample calculation and this is for example, to make it quick, I shall only uh, choose it 300. So, then, then I need to run LAPW1. It may take some time depending on your system and uh, how dense a KMS you have chosen. Now I shall go to this option. LAPW2. Now I need to configure so that I get all the contributions that I want. So default it comes the total, that is the total density of state. So I make it larger a little bit and uh, it gives only the uh, contribution of the first atom. So if you can see here from, for me the first atom is titanium and oxygen is leveled as the second atom and it says that I can have total contribution from titanium, I can I can plot S, contribution of S orbital, contribution of P orbital and all these things. Similarly, they get this for oxygen also. So, what I will do, I will choose this one that is for the, actually you have to type it because I have used this previously. So, that is why I have it saved already. But if you doing it for the first time, you may, you need to type it. And there are several things. The hint, the um, actual manual is or the description how you do is given here. If you read it, it says that you should have one blank, only one blank before and after an atom. So I have chosen here an atom one. So I have one blank before one and the one blank after one. And similarly, when I started for the atom two, I have one blank before two and one blank after two. And for atom 1, I choose the co total contribution and then contribution from S orbital, contribution from P orbital, contribution from D orbital and also contribution for F orbital. Similar, similarly, for atom 2, total contribution of atom 2 and contribution of S and P orbitals of the atom 2. Now, here for with these options, you can you have to use only comma between them and you cannot include any space just like this 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 is the example given here so with this i will execute so the so i have configured and you if you see that here they included all the uh, dos or the p dos that i wanted now i'll go for the calculation now you can see here the the volume covered is 100 percent for your case if it doesn't come 100 percent at the first time you may need to run x tetra several time unless you get covered volume 100 percent because otherwise uh, you may not get the dose actually so depending on the system or uh, you may need to calculate it several times and you have to pay attention for this value now if i go to plot so if i just plot it you can see this is the total dos for all the 
uh, for all the atoms contribution. Now, I want to plot the contribution of titanium atom. So, this is 2 total contribution. So, I will select here. Now, I also want the contribution of oxygen atom. So, this is at number 7 here, but I will choose here. So, now if I plot, you can see the contribution. This is the total dose. This is the total contribution for titanium, total contribution for oxygen, and they are in different color. They are safe. So, you can see. So, below the, so in the balance band, the contribution from oxygen is uh, higher than the contribution of titanium. But in the conduction vent, titanium has more contribution. Now, if I want to plot the contribution of d orbital from titanium, I will choose here. Now, and for the oxygen, I will choose this one. You can choose this. These are the actually uh, doses you have calculated. So, you can choose from this value whichever you want to plot. So, if I do so, so I have all this result. I can so you can see the first one is thin and the others are thick. I can change their thickness here. I will put it 2 and put them 1. So now you can see the thicknesses are same. You can save this. Just right click on the item and the save image as. So you can save this and however you like. Then you can use it for your um, future use sorry for your uh, pro project or something also here the, we have the option to save all these uh, results because you can see I, I we have nine contributions but using the w2 wave we can only plot four at a time so if i go for this if i save this i have already previously did it so that's why i save so i will put minus d option that's why uh, so that it creates a new folder named uh, so I named it like this you can name it differently and if you save it it says that so I was in this directory then it created another folder and saved these files so if you go to the you will see that it have all this this is in read bar unit this is in electron volt so if you open it you have all these results and they, they have the name here so this is the energy value this is the total dose. This is total for atom 1, contribution of S orbital of atom 1. So, contribution of P orbital of atom like this. Now, the, after that, after 2, you have uh, other things, other uh, doses are saved in this file, dose 2. So, you have all this. You can use uh, new plot or some other plotting software to plot this dose for all these systems. So, if we go back and see the DOS again, we have plotted the total DOS and the projected DOS for different atoms and different orbitals. I hope this will be helpful. Thank you for today.